Problem 4. The least common multiple of a positive integer n and 18 is 180. So the least common multiple is 180. We're also told that the greatest common divisor between n and 45, the greatest common divisor, is 15. What is the sum of the digits of n? So first of all, let's first evaluate the first term, which is n and 18 gives them the least common multiple of 180. If on the test you forget how to find the least common multiple, give yourself a simple example to give yourself a pattern for which to solve the question. So let's say I have 6 and 4. Well, just by simple, obvious intuition, we see that 12 must be a least common multiple. So let's see how to derive the least common multiple from these three terms. Well, prime factorization should be one thing that I suspect immediately, because prime factorization is used across a lot of number problems. So 12 is equal to 4 times 3, which becomes 2 squared times 3 right here. But what is 6? 6 is 2 times 3. 4 is 2 squared, which are prime. Notice what we know about these terms. If I were to isolate everything, notice where the 2 squared comes from. The 2 squared corresponds with the 2 squared and 12, which just so happens to be the largest power prime within the number. Notice, in 6 is 2 to the first. 2 to the first is obviously less than 2 second, because 2 is larger than 1. So we see that there might be a pattern here. And let's see about 3. If 3 is the same, then we know we have a pattern. We know that this is 3 to the first. Well, this is just 3 to the 0, because 3 to the 0 is just 1. In this case, this is also 3 to the 1, and 3 to the 1 just so happens to be the largest power of 3 within one of the two terms. So therefore, we can say that to find the least common multiple, we must find the largest power primes within both numbers. So we must prime factorize. 18 is what? 9 times 2, which is 3 squared times 2. Well, LCM of 180, 180 is just 118 times 10. 10 gives another 2 times 5, so that's 3 squared times 2 squared times 5. But what is n, right? Well, we can find more information about n from the second information, which is that the greatest common divisor with n45 gives the greatest common divisor 15. Well, if the greatest common divisor is 15, they must be divisible by that divisor, which is 15. So that means n must be a multiple of 15. Prime factorize this entire term. Gives 3 times 5 times m for some constant. Now, we can solve the question. <coughs> we know... <clears throat> from a basic example, that 3 squared must correspond to the largest power prime within one number, which is in 18. So we have the 3 squared. What about 2 squared? Well, the largest power here is just 2. So that means it cannot be the prime from 18. It must be from the quantity 15 times m. So that means if we have no 2s here, but we must have a power of 2 squared, then m must be 2 squared in order to satisfy this prime factorization. What about the 5? Well, the 5 is already present within 15, right? And the 3 gets ignored because remember, the largest power 3 is within 18. Therefore, we have our number. The number of n is just 3 times 5 times 4, which is equal to 20 times 3, which is 60. You know that 6 plus 0 gives 6. Therefore, your answer choice is answer choice B.